Yes, yeah. Did you start ready? We're preparing to draw blood from a cat named Nicholas. And of course, one of the most important parts of a jugular draw is positioning. If you're the technician that is drawing blood, you should be directing the holder to restrain properly. The first thing that you want to do is clip the hair away from the area that makes the vein more visible whenever you're going to draw your blood. To hold off, you position your thumb in the jugular furrow and you want to firmly push in and up at the same time to hold the vein off. You want to wet your area down with alcohol and you can see the vein is standing up right here. Whenever I let off, the vein goes away. <clears throat> you want to wipe the area down with your alcohol. You should always use a 20 gauge needle whenever you're drawing a jugular vein because the size of the jugular is best with a 20 gauge needle. Whenever you're going to poke, you want to make sure your bevel is up and that your fingers are positioned on your syringe to do the draw. You want to go in parallel to the jugular vein whenever you stick. and then slowly draw back on your needle, on your plunger. When you're done drawing, you pull out and hold off with your thumb. A key part is that you don't draw back too fast or you will collapse the vein. <clears throat> Professional job, for a good hit. We might as well run it while we got it. <laughs> 